Hello, Akako. It's Pastor Keith. It's morning prayer for June 8th, a Saturday, 2024. And coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town, and that's in the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii. So welcome. And uh, if you're in the area, I want to just say you're always welcome to come to church on Sunday morning at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. and uh, worship with us in person if you'd like. And uh, we, uh, we say if, if you're there, you belong. So uh, you, would be, you would be more than welcome. Anyways, uh, interesting, Luke 8, 4 to 15, which is the parable of the sower. And we never read this uh, parable of the sower from Luke, or for that matter, from Mark in our three-year lectionary. We only read it from Matthew 13. So, excuse me, this will be familiar but not anything that you've heard on Sunday in a long time. Okay, parable of the sower. When a great crowd gathered and people from town after town came to him, he said in a parable, a sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell on the path and was trampled on. And the birds of the air ate it up. Some fell on the rock and as it grew up, it withered for lack of moisture. Some fell among thorns and the thorns grew with it and choked it. Some fell into good soil, and when it grew, it produced a hundredfold. As he said this, he called out, Let anyone with ears to hear listen. Then his disciples asked what this parable meant. He said, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but to others I speak in parables, so that they may not perceive, and listening they may not understand. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The ones on the path are those who have heard it. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. The ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root. They believe only for a while and in a time of testing fall away. As for what fell among the thorns, these are the ones who hear. But as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not matter. But as for that in the good soil, these are the ones who, when they hear the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart, and bear fruit with patient endurance. Parables are stories that challenge our worldviews. They say that the kingdom of God or the reign of God in a more non-sexist, uh, patriarchal, non-patriarchal way, the reign of God comes in the reversal of all things. It comes and we are called to make a decision about it. And there are a lot of parables about decision making or the failure to decide. And then they're just the parables that say the reign of God is drawing near. And that's what this parable says. And later, I think uh, Luke or Mark added an explanation. Matthew took off with it, uh, sort of an allegory. One of the things we do is, is turn Jesus' parables into morals or allegories so that uh, eventually they are written down. But if you get back to the historical Jesus, he told a lot of stories and then didn't really explain it. In the middle of it says... Uh, Looking, they may not perceive, and listening, they may not understand. And so, in the sowing of the seed, wherever it is sown, the reign of God in Christ, grace, love, is drawing near. That's what it means. And when you splice and dice it too much, it turns into a morality story, that rather than a proclamation that Christ is near, in your life, in my life, in the whole of creation. Ponder that. E pule, kako, let us pray. I lost my prayer. Well, we'll go over here. It's over here. Almighty God, we thank you for planting in us the seed of your word. 
By your Holy Spirit, help us to receive it with joy, live according to it, and grow in faith and hope and love. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now, may the God who has planted his seed of love and forgiveness and life in your heart strengthen you, bless you, keep you safe throughout this day, and try not to lose your place in the book. Amen.